Hi everybody, this is the combo cut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hunter. Welcome back to the combo cut. Hopefully you like this video and hit that subscribe button. So Star Wars has been a disaster really since Disney bought it. We all know that. Maybe a little hit here or there. The Mandalorian was pretty good. Baby Yoda was good for a while and, uh, and Rebels wasn't that bad. But uh, someone who seems to be very concerned is a uh, Star Wars author, Timothy Zahn, who is the creator of Thrawn. Now, they introduced Thrawn uh, in the Star Wars Rebel show. And I would say this. He was a character that came across to me as very boring. <laughs> very boring. But be that as it may. Exclusive from that park place, Star Wars author and Thrawn creator Timothy Zahn hopes, hopes Disney higher-ups don't ruin his creation. Timothy Zahn is a renowned American sci-fi author best known for his influential contributions to the Star Wars expanded universe. His early career writing began in the 1980s with short stories and novels that showcased his talent for intricate plots and well-developed characters. Zahn's Distinct narrative style and aptitude for weaving complex storylines quickly gained him recognition in the science fiction community. Perhaps, however, he's most famous for having created the character of Thrawn. The distinct genius villain of Star Wars has been brought in by Dave Fioni as the big baddie of Ahsoka. But most believe Thrawn is likely also the villain the Star Wars characters will take on in a trilogy of films orchestrated by Filoni and John Favreau. There was a hope. There was a big hope that 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 uh, Thrawn would have been the main villain in the uh, Daisy Ridley Star Wars movies. That's what people were hoping, but that did not take place. At a recent fan convention in Nashville, Tennessee, called ICCC, that part place caught up with Thrawn to ask him his opinion on modern Star Wars. Unfortunately, at this time, Disney has not been in contact with Thrawn regarding even consultation. For the films, nor for season two of Ahsoka. Zorn expressed to our reporters that well, while a consultation credit would be wonderful, his dreams for Lucasfilm to offer him a cameo role in one of the films, one of the movies. When pressed on the character of Thrawn and how he portrayed how he's portrayed in the movies, Timothy Zahn was more concerned. When asked about current Lucasfilm leadership and their ability to deliver on the character as he was formed in the novels, he had this to say. I trust Filoni to get it right. He's read the books. He cares about the characters. He gets it. I think he'll do it right. We'll see how they do with the next Ahsoka season. There's a good group, a group over there at Lucasfilm, he added. Pablo Hidalgo comes at it comes at it from a game's point of view. But he knows the characters too. I just hope the Disney higher-ups don't ruin it. Uh, when we reminded Mr. Zahn that there aren't many people above Dave Filoni anymore at Lucasfilm and Disney, he smiled and replied, and that's a good thing, he said. It surprised to us that Disney has not more forthrightly reached out to Zahn for consultation on the character. We've covered in the past how popular Zahn's books are, easily surpassing any enthusiasm Lucasfilm has found with modern novels. Now, I would mention, they did not consult much from George Lucas on these movies. He was very disappointed with those three movies in particular. Take, for example, this information we received back in 2022. Earlier this week, we were tipped off that Barnes & Noble likely has a contractual obligation with Lucasfilm and Disney to provide prominent shelf space with a graphic marquee in order to sell the High Republic goods. We're also tipped off, however, that this has been an utter failure for selling the books, and so Barnes & Noble has taken to a different strategy altogether. Although the new books Disney wants to push are available on the shelf space made available to them, they have been pushed down towards the floor, and we're told this is purposeful. Apparently, there's no language in the contract that forbids Barnes & Noble from putting other Star Wars content on the shelf space. And so, they're doing exactly that. Instead of pushing High Republic on the High Republic section, which wasn't working, they're not using the area for decades-old Star Wars novels that are more popular. Zorn's most notable work is the Thrawn Trilogy, a series of Star Wars novels published between 91 and 93, consisting of Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, and The Last Command, Trilogy is credited with revitalizing the Star Wars franchise during a time when interest in the series had waned. The books introduced grand 
Admiral Thrawn, a master strategist, one of the most memorable villains in the Star Wars canon. Thrawn's calculating intellect and military prowess, combined with Zahn's knack for blending space opera with political intrigue, made the trilogy an instant success, propelling Zahn to the forefront of the Star Wars literary world. The trilogy also paved the way for the subsequent growth of the Star Wars expanded universe, which expanded into numerous novels, comics, and games. Beyond his Star Wars contributions, Zahn has written a variety of original science fi fiction series such as the Conqueror's Trilogy and the Cobra series. These works often explore themes of military strategy, complex moral dilemmas, and the nature of power. Zorn's storytelling is characterized by strong emphasis on character development, intricate plots, and well-researched scientific concepts, making his work highly engaging for readers. His enduring influence in the Star Wars universe and his diverse body of original work have established him as one of the most respected and prolific sci-fi authors of his generation. Well, the, the, the article says, We just hope Lucasfilm and Disney will share the same admiration for his narrative work that we know fans have come to adore. Well, I doubt it. Uh, highly doubt it. They've not shown any uh, respect. They've shown very little respect to the previous movies and really to any of the characters that, that have been created before Disney showed up. So I don't know if this is this is going to happen, but we'll keep our eye out on it, and I'll let you know uh, how uh, Throne is treated in Ahsoka. So thank you for watching this video. Of course, please subscribe to Combo Cut, and I'll see you later.